Hi and welcome to the Data Engineering Fundamentals course. In the fundamentals, we're going to through the, the main stuff that you should learn when you start out data and with data engineering. And it's basically everything that is going to help you on your journey, uh, on your data engineering journey. So these are fundamentals. I think they're that are important and that you should take a look at. So what did we do? Um, I, well, they were, maybe they're not completely done yet, but what, how I, how I separate them is in software engineering is in relational databases, like computer networking. I think that is, that is also important. Linux in general and the rest APIs. So how this works is you can pop this out <clears throat> in software development. I made the, the, uh, the distinction between actual th the coding of stuff because coding is a big part. Um, you should be able to, to learn to code. Previously, I would have told you go, go Java, go, uh, uh, and so on. Java, Scala for, for Spark. But nowadays, like if you go for, for Python, that's, that's perfect. Python is, is really good. And, um, so I have a resource here for Python and uh, once you do that, you also need some uh, some development environment. You for Py for Python, it makes sense to uh, to use something like PyCharm, uh, VS Code, Atom. We can also code in Atom, or uh, do something with uh, dashboards uh, or uh, with notebooks like on Google Colab. So there are there are many many possibilities. If you want to just quickly start, you can go Colab. Then. Um, yeah, basically for the, for the main coding uh, stuff, UML diagrams, I find very, very important. Like you need to, you need to sketch stuff. You need to, you need to, um, do, um, like, like designs of your software and UML diagrams are going to help you a lot in this manner. Also with uh, stuff like Git, um, Git is very important, so you can uh, so you can work together with other people and keep track of your source code uh, instead of just saving it somewhere onto a file and then when you do a revision and you lose the the previous um, the previous revision and you need to go back and and you missed something. It's Git is very very good um, to actually use for 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 software development in a team oh but also for yourself i i use that all the time and that's that's a thing that's a really really cool thing um agile development with scrum is something that that you should look into uh, a lot of people nowadays are, are doing agile development and there's a there's from uh, azure a really cool devops uh, how you can basically plan agile and so on agile agile uh, agile development and uh, this is a, a roles demystified like an explanation of the roles that you have um we're going to go into each and every one of these in 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 the future it's just i want to start out now with with the basics and show you show you what's up a very very important thing is that you uh, understand uh, the difference be between online transaction processing database and online analytics processing database like data warehouses and, and transactional um, databases and uh, that so that's i have that as an explanation here so um i think that's it the, the, with uh, online transaction processing database online analytical processing database that's important to actually know the difference and uh database modeling that's a very important thing like that you know how to build a relational database that you know uh, how normalization works that you know how sql queries uh, how to work with sql queries and um, the the 
the ways of primary keys and foreign keys. So that's I think that's that's very important. Um, that's something that that needs to be, uh, yeah. So for me, computer networking is is something that is very important. Um, I have to say, computer networking it, it helped me a lot over the years. Throughout, uh, throughout when, when you want to debug stuff, and when you when you're having problems or when you're setting up systems, like it's you, you find this everywhere. Like you you need you're working with Docker and you need to set up it a network between the the containers and so on. You need to understand the basics of networking. How does networking work? you need to understand uh, how IP addresses and subnet masks work when you're when you're going a, a bit of the hardware route you need to understand um how ip routing and, and virtual lands and and it works if you're more on the on the security side and and this is going to happen like you see this also on on aws in the aws course um we we uh, we cut some corners there like with access control lists of networks that's it's important to understand how that how that works or how a virtual private network works like over the internet like i'm using usually at work every day i'm i'm working uh, completely full time from home over vpn that's important to understand uh, ports how ports work TCP UDP the the actual um, <clears throat> data transmission that that is that is something that is important I think and I added for for all this I added links to you down below here in every, I'm going to um, add more and I'm going as I said we're going to do not only here in these live sessions but also on uh, maybe either I'm I'm recording them myself or I'm doing live streams like on LinkedIn where people can then also ask questions like i'm going to into each of these links and and tell you what i what i find interesting there but you can explore this today in the in the um when you go to the academy home and you scroll down uh onto the mini courses there is the data engineering fundamentals and i have the preview maybe i have, uh, yeah i have the preview there and you can you can go and check out all these links so that's i think that's important computer networking another thing that that you need is you you need um you need linux you need linux knowledge uh like if you're if you're trying to learn on your computer with docker like malcolm does or if you want to um if you want to work with instances on a cloud you most likely have linux instances and most of the tools are working with linux so you need you need linux knowledge and you you need to understand the basics of linux like which are the important the important folders of linux like var log var opt the temp folder you need to understand how to copy and move data here and cron jobs it's also important how to schedule if you if you don't have stuff like like airflow how can you schedule schedule scripts to run and uh like bash scripts here maybe i should bring this up like how to create bash scripts how you can ex uh, how you can um <clears throat> execute stuff like python scripts within a within a bash script um how to edit uh, files on on linux with basically on the command line because most of the time you're working with servers and servers don't have don't have ui how to use uh, something like v or G, uh, g edit these are these are important things uh to know also like permissions i i can't tell you the the amount of times i had to struggle with permissions and so uh, these are these are important things like uh, ch mod ch own these are these are or chown or mod uh, these are these are important these are important things and then i added just another link for rest apis 
this is a Google uh, a link to the Google API design guidelines. I think these are really really cool and they can help you a lot in this in this whole thing. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of uh, a, a bit about machine learning. You need to understand a bit about machine learning, so I'm going to add at some point. I need to write actually write this down so I don't forget it. Um I want to have in the either I'm putting it in the fundamentals or I think it's going to go in the fundamentals here like um like machine learning fundamentals like machine learning uh training and and, and applying train apply hyperparameters like a batch and stream so that you so that you understand a bit actually how how does how does the machine learning in in practice work not like we are, that we understand how algorithms work and then how to do like random forest and all this this stuff that's not interesting here like the uh, what do you need for for the actual processing or how should we should you set up the the systems in the um the for for machine learning what what is a data scientist looking for i think that's important so that's that's what i what i also going to add here <laughs>